a smile on your face when you're moving from place to place. place. Good morning, good morning. Viewers, welcome back this morning to the Tobago Updates Morning Show. We are chatting with Mr. John Prokop, who is an environmental activist. And this morning, viewers, we're talking about my swim from Tobago to Trinidad, or possibly from Trinidad to Tobago. Good morning. Welcome to you, John Prokop. Good morning. Now, it's good to have you on the program. Let's, let's talk about your background here before we get into the meat of things. Okay. Um, yes, you're planning a swim between, well, from Trinidad to Tobago, or possibly from uh, to be go to Trinidad, yes. uh, but tell us about your background in, 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 in this particular sport. Well, I've always been a swimmer mm -hmm. and I, I've always loved swimming, um, but recently um, I've taken up swimming at the master's level. Mm -hmm. So I, I train at the YMCA pool mm -hmm. under the tutelage of um, coach Rochelle Pear and coach Mosey Dinoon. Okay. And they have a fantastic program over at the YMCA. Um, this is Tobago Aqua Warriors swim team. Mm. And um, through that um, training, I've um, gotten more and more involved with swimming and triathlon. And uh, I started doing long swims in the sea a few years ago because I had heard of a legend um, of a slave who escaped a plantation in Tobago and swam across the sea to Trinidad. Um, we're, not, we're not exactly sure how he was able to accomplish this. There are many sort of, um, you know, d different details of the legend. Some say he floated across on a raft made of coconuts strung together with fishing net. Um, and that was what he was able to float on and that was what he was able to drink in order to make it over. Mm. Um, I'm going to attempt to do this swim um, with a couple of guide boats and they will be providing me with refreshments every 45 mm -hmm. minutes. So I will have support of some kind. But this is the story that initially inspired me to do the swim. Okay. Yeah. Now, a few years back, you, you did make an attempt. Actually, that was last year, last in year. September. Okay. Um, myself and William Carr and Patrick Leloy and Roger Watts uh, made an attempt. And um, we made it about 45 kilometers. Um, but unfortunately, we were um, thwarted by unfavorable sea conditions. Okay, so now, we only know of one other person who attempted this, and this would have been Watson Duke <laughs> a few years ago, attempting to swim from uh, Tobago to Trinidad. Mm -hmm. um, didn't make it, didn't make it. <laughs> I um, think this was a very different type of swim. Um, what would, what, what would, we'll be hoping. Yes, um, I, there was a gentleman um, who made several attempts mm -hmm. and claimed to have completed it successfully on one occasion. But unfortunately, he doesn't have any uh, evidence to support his claim. So my um, intention is to try and make it successfully and have um, the evidence to prove that I've done it. Um, we're going to be um, filming the endeavor. Um, we're going to be taking photos. Maybe, if we're lucky, we'll have drone as well as underwater footage, um, footage from the boats and the water line. Um, but my, um, my aim is to use this swim as, um, since I am an, an, an advocate for marine conservation, yeah. I would like to use this swim as an opportunity to raise awareness of the devastating impacts of climate change and pollution and overfishing on our oceans. And so that is, that, that's really what I'd like to highlight by doing this swim. And I would also like to um, encourage the government and the corporations of Trinidad and Tobago to support our young athletes especially in learn to swim programs mm. um, and then of course when representing the country internationally okay now you 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 are embarking upon this swim uh from tobago to trinidad or trinidad to tobago yes um, this is going to depend on the sea conditions that's what i was just about to you ask see, you we want to learn from our mistakes yes. the last time and the last time although we were familiar with the patterns of the currents and the winds, we did not take into consideration that um, those would be um, fluid and changing. Right. And so unfortunately for us, we planned the swim on exactly the same day as um, Hurricane Fiona passed by Tobago. So we didn't have the best sea conditions for that. But on this occasion, if we have certain currents 
um, going in certain directions, it would be better to start the swim in Toko okay. and swim back to Tobago. But the actual plan is to start the swim at Bacalet Beach right. and swim to Trinidad. What point? What point in Trinidad? We do not pick a point at which we will <laughs> land. Wherever, wherever we you... start on Bacalet Beach mm -hmm. and we will go basically in a southerly trajectory um, for approximately 11 to 13 kilometers. And then we will turn southwest or I will turn southwest and hopefully the current will assist me in getting to Trinidad from there. But that's just a very, very basic plan. And this is upon the guidance of those who would be... This is upon the guidance of um, my navigator. Yes. Um, I have a very good team this year um, who are very experienced and knowledgeable about the currents and all of the sea conditions. And so my navigator will make that decision for me based on what the sea conditions look like the day before the swim. Mm -hmm. And then we'll decide whether we're starting in Toko or starting in Bacalet. But obviously, we intend on making it all the way across the ocean channel between the two islands for the first time officially. Okay. My question is, why, why this particular time of the year? Because we're going, I mean, we're fully well into the, the, the rainy season. Yes. And hurricanes are more a possibility now than True. the earlier part of the year. Yeah, well, why now? Well, that's a great question. Um, last year, we did it in September. Right. And that was in hurricane season. The thing is... Even more into. Yes. Hurricane season, is, it, it's tricky because it's very often the calmest time mm -hmm. with the slackest currents. So the best swimming conditions, except when a storm comes. So doing it in August gives us a bit more of a chance mm -hmm. to get it right as far as the sea conditions go because there's less chance of the hurricanes coming and messing things up. Um, but at the end of the day... The real reason is because uh, it's, it's just changed from dry season to rainy season. The rain very often stops a lot of the wind, and with less wind, the currents are, are, are a lot less strong. And at the end of the day, no matter how experienced of a swimmer you are or, or how competent you are as an endurance athlete, there is no way that you can make a swim like this from Trinidad to Tobago or Tobago to Trinidad, unless you are using nature to your advantage. But is this a swim for, is it, are those dolphins? Yes, those are That's dolphins. Right. We saw dolphins, we saw lots of marine life on, on our swim in September last year. Now, is this is this for competition or is this? No, 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 this is not for competition. Because I'm looking at the four of you swimming here and uh, we're not racing. You're not racing. You're we, trying we, we to keep together. We were supporting one another, yeah. swimming together. Um, on this occasion, I will be doing the swim solo. Okay. So it'll be just me. Um, one of my, my very good friends from the last um, attempt, William Carr, he will be joining me as um, a support swimmer. Um, he may not be doing the whole swim with me. Um, maybe not the portion in the nighttime, but maybe in the daytime. We're not sure entirely how much swimming he'll do yet, but he will be my support swimmer. All right. Now, we would certainly love to, to chat with you after this swim. Uh, we'd love to know what the experience was like for you. So we will, we will keep in touch and we will be able to hear from you um, after the swim. Remind our viewers this morning of when all of this is happening. Okay. The date is the 10th of August, but we're not sticking to that date. Because okay. if, if we stuck to that date, then we would not have learned our lesson very well from mm -hmm. last year. So what we're doing is we're using the 10th of August as the approximate date um, based on the tide time um, and also the moon phase. And then we will see what the conditions are like in the couple of days before the date. And if things are perfect, a day or two before the 10th, then we'll go on that date. All right. Is there a way that the, the public can, can assist? You know, is there any way that we can uh, help make this dream a reality? That would be amazing. I've received quite a lot of support so far, but anyone who is willing to support um, is, is very much encouraged to do, to, to do so. Um, you can contact me at 377-7908. And I will be um, launching um, an ad on social media. So people who are on Facebook and Instagram, which, by the way, I am not. 
<laughs> You're not on social no, media. I'm not on social media at all. But people who are on social media. Someone asked, how do you survive? But okay. Well, quite well, actually. <laughs> but people who are on social media will be able to follow the mm -hmm. progress of the preparation and, of course, learn more about the swim. And we're hoping to have a live feed on the day as well as the GPS tracking so that people will be able to see how far I've reached. But it's a long, it's a long haul. We're expecting a 15 hour swim at best maybe 20 hours and who knows, maybe more depending on, on what the currents do. And what is your start time? Start time should be 11 um, p.m. on Thursday, the 10th of August, if we stick to that day, um, starting on high tide, which okay. is the best time to start, to, um, the best opportunity to get away from Tobago um, before the currents start to increase in strength when the sun comes up. At that hour, that time. The thing is, when the sun comes up, the mm. wind begins to increase. Right. And with the wind, the currents increase because obviously current is caused by wind. Yeah. So um, that's the plan. But um, it may be completely different on the actual day, depending on what day we choose. Um, but that is the plan. I should be swimming the first six or seven hours in the night. Okay. Well, we yes. wish you all the best. And again, we'd love to chat with you after the swim, yes. Um, after you su you survived, well, okay. Hopefully, yes. And after I have not only survived, but after I have been triumphant. <laughs> that's right. That's right, indeed. So, all the best to you again, and we want to thank you for being on the program this morning. Thank you very much for having me. A I pleasure, appreciate indeed. it. Well, viewers, we're going to leave it here for today. We want to thank you so much for joining us this morning uh, for the Tobago Updates Morning Show. We are going to be heading over at this time into uh, Tobago Notes. And again, have a great day. Stay safe. And over to Tobago Notes and GMT. Bye-bye, everybody.